what I've been blown away about is how like little attention, both nationally and, and locally, that this crisis has been given. I think fundamentally we undervalue water. The day that we're going to run out of water is as soon as 120 days away, which is January. Cape Town's in, currently in the grips of the worst drought for over 100 years. About to meet Calvin Troutman, a famous adventure photographer. He's going to talk about his exhibition about water conservation in Cape Town. I was born in Zimbabwe, and I think that's where like, my passion for, for the environment was kind of born. In terms of photography, that was something that I picked up fairly early. It was a great way to express that passion for the bush uh, by, by documenting my time in the bush. I started with adventure sport, documenting adventure sport. I can see me gravitating now towards more and more humanitarian and environmental, okay. Okay. social impact driven work through photographing people like Lewis Pugh. People, these people that use extreme sports as a, as a PR hook yeah. to talk about yeah. topical environmental social issues. Mm. In the last six months, I, I've been working on a project here in Cape Town. Okay. Cape Town's in, currently in the grips of the worst drought for over 100 years. The city has said that day X the, the day that we're going to run out of water is as soon as 120 days away, which is January. We, we have six feet of dams. When I flew over it, uh, it was at 12.9%. It, it, was, it was practically dry. And collectively at now, they stand 36% full. This is after our rainy season. What I've been blown away about is how like, little attention, both nationally and, and locally, that this crisis has been given. The last two years I've shot quite a few water-related um, campaigns and expeditions globally. It has opened my eyes to the realities of living without water. I have the perspective. A world -like perspective. Yeah, I just understand the reality of you know, living without water. And I think that's part of the problem here is we can't join the dots. Okay? Yeah. Yes, we've got a water crisis. And perhaps we understand how serious it is, but have we, have we thought about what it's going to be like living without water? We've put an exhibition together. It's a series of aerial images of, of Cape Town's feeder dams. It's, and it's a way to try and connect people to just how serious the, the water crisis is, but then also make a commentary on our attitude towards water and how that needs to change. Sure. The thing that we've learned the most is, is just how like, concerned citizens' voices like ourselves can get lost in the noise. So can we can we build a platform where we aggregate these voices sure. and use that to amplify the message so it reaches a much wider audience? The exhibition is just launched. The platform is called A Billion Voices for Water and it's, it's aimed at aggregating these voices to amplify the message. So there's, this, there's a series of aerial images of just, okay. just the, like the, the apocalyptic scene of what is left of our dance. But I also wanted to try and use it as a way to convey our attitude towards water. So what I've done with this, with a few, a few images, is Photoshop in a beach scene. The beach scene, uh, it, again, is it's top-down images, and we just Photoshop these these beach umbrellas and beach goes into into this lake. And it's meant to be a commentary about how apathetic, okay. callous, blasé our, our attitude towards water is, yeah, um, okay. surrounded by crisis and yet this is it's like another day on the beach art gives you that ability to to make people think and, and yes. you know come up with creative ways to to talk and open dialogue about about an issue mm. i always like the quote details are not just the details details are the thing the plan is to have it travel the city okay. um, and we, so we've got a host of restaurants and, and coffee shops that have bought in okay. and want to host the exhibition and we'll plug it into these different places around the city and so it, it'll travel. travel. And although then I've, I've generated the first batch of content, it's, it's, it's meant to be a very collaborative effort. So okay. it's an open invite for other artists, contemporary artists. Okay, cool. um, 
to contribute content, their take on the water crisis, and we use the exhibition and, and our platform to, to spread the message. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. There's the hashtag, yes, it's, it's Art for Water, and if you visit the website, there's information on how you can get involved. Yeah, it would be great to, great yeah. to hear from, from people.